Hi, I'm Tasa Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainee here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to show you how to make a really cool color changing blush. Now you probably would have seen Belinda's other videos on a color changing lip gloss and also a color changing foundation. But today I'm going to show you how to make this blush in a cream form. Now let me show you how to put it together. So first thing I'm going to start with a nice light feeling ester or lipid. You want something light because you don't want it to feel greasy or heavy on the skin when you apply it. Now to this, I'm gonna add a little bit of castor oil. I'm not gonna add too much because I don't want it to be super sticky, but you do want a little bit of tack so it stays in place. Now to help bring up my cream blush together and to make it nice and stable and give it some viscosity, I'm gonna add a bit of hydrogenated vegetable oil. And I'm also gonna add a bit of beeswax. So it's gonna give it a semi-solid form, but not too hard, like a hard wax, that it won't be hard to uh, apply. And now I'm gonna add my pigment. So this is the Sentient Unicert Red uh, K7053J. Now it looks quite orange red as a powder form, but you're going to see it change to a really nice light pink blush color. So I'm gonna add this in. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of citric acid as well. This is gonna help keep the blush relatively clear. Um, and then it's gonna help us with the color changing when it's applied onto the skin. So now I'm gonna pop that on heat. I'm gonna add my antioxidant a bit later when it has slightly cooled but not completely set. Now once that's all heated and melted, we're gonna remove that from the heat. Let it cool slightly to just above setting temperature, so around 60 to 65 degrees, and then we're gonna add in our tocopherol. Just adding my tocopherol and giving that a stir. Now, as you can see, that's looking orange, but it's, it's clear. So, and it looks very liquidy right now, but rest assured in about 24 hours, this is actually gonna change into a cream blush form. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna leave it to set overnight, and then I'm gonna come back and show you what it looks like the next day. Alrighty, and this is what my blush is looking like the next day. So as you can see, it's still a nice light shade of orange and it's looking still clear and obviously it's in solid form, so it's a bit opaque. But I'm gonna show you now what the viscosity is like and then also how it changes color when applied to the skin. So as you can see, that's not too hard. It's still semi-soft. That's what it's looking like. So if I just put a bit here on my applicator, see it's still really easily moving around. So it's gonna apply really nice to the skin. It's not too sticky. You need a little bit of stickiness to make it stick in one place and hold its position on the skin or on the cheeks, but you don't want it too sticky and you also don't want it too oily. So make sure you're using your light feeling esters. Now, I'm just gonna show you what it's like on the skin. So I'm just gonna rub a little bit on there and you can see instantly that's turning a really nice, beautiful shade of pink. So really good blush color. Now, if you wanted to make it more of an intense pink, you can increase your input. So it's 0.05 to 2%. If you want it to be more of a red blush color, which can also look really nice, you would use more of a high input. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to make a color changing blush in a cream form. So semi-solid. Now, if you do wanna play around with the coloring, make it more red or a deeper type of pink, you can add more of the pigment. So you can use up to 2%. So if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, leave any questions in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.